Happening right now, an open house where the future of that third police precinct building in Minneapolis is being discussed. It's off East Franklin Avenue and 15th Avenue South, and it goes until 730 tonight. This is about two miles away from the third precinct, which was burned and has been empty since George Floyd's murder. Renee Cooper explains the options that are being considered. The city wants to redevelop the former 3rd Precinct building into a democracy center. And today, I get a better idea of what exactly that would entail. So this would house the city's Department of Election and Voter Services, which That's is Deputy City Operations Officer Laura Mellum. And this is really strategic for election and voter services for a number of reasons. It would move the city's early voting center there, which is a location that is more centrally located, closer to transit, and is also in an area with lower voter turnout. The city just ramped its months-long community engagement, hearing from roughly 2,000 people. Mellum says 63% of people citywide support the proposal, and 70% of people living in the 3rd Precinct are on board. I would characterize this as, as clear support for the proposal. Do you think that act accurately reflects... No, def definitely not. That's Sam Gould, a neighbor of the former 3rd Precinct building, who's been independently engaging his community for well over a year. An aspect of it being a voting center, that's fantastic. But we don't need this major building with this incredibly important history that we can't just sweep under the rug um, to employ 16 employees, have a gigantic warehouse. The city is setting aside another part of the building for community services and got some ideas from the survey. Social services, um, business related services and other types of community gathering or cultural events. But Gould says neighbors want assurance they'll be more involved in what those community services will look like before committing their support. Anything that, that will lead towards growth and healing. It has to start with neighbors. It just seems really disingenuous. Now, the open house here goes until 730. The next step for the city will be presenting the survey results to a city council committee in a couple of weeks. If it's approved, I'm told the earliest the center would open will be in 2026. In Minneapolis, Renee Cooper, 5 Eyewitness News.